Ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to be able to pay this small tribute to Richard Cargon. Uh, as patron of Abbeyfield for the last 30 years, I have some understanding of the ideals on which Abbeyfield was founded by him. And I know only too well that the work inspired by Richard Cargon since 1956 has helped many thousands of vulnerable people, young and old, lead happy, secure and fulfilled lives. Both the Abbeyfield and Cargon charities had humble beginnings in Bermondsey, South East London. They and the other charities Richard Cargon founded all aimed to offer a safe home and support to lonely and vulnerable people. I'd gone down to Bermondsey to try and see how people lived. I had no idea how people lived. And I would knock on doors and people were very kind and they would take me into their houses. And always I would show them, it's usually the front room on the right. And I never saw the rest of the house. Uh, and so I didn't really then know how they lived. I thought the only way to see into the inside of people's houses, really how they lived, was to uh, be a home help to scrub floors, to go and clean. Then I saw the state of people's homes and I hoped that, that would help me make my mind up what to do. I realised that in fact if anybody can clean a house it's not a problem in scrubbing floors, anyone can do that. But that what people were suffering from was loneliness because when I had done my hour or two hours I left them and then they saw nobody until I came back next day or next week or next month and in that gap they were on their own they just sat the ones who were homebound and bedbound roombound uh, because there weren't district nurses there weren't carers, there weren't all that many friendly neighbours. It's a, it's a, I was worried about loneliness. Well, the army had given me £1,150 instead of a pension, for they came out early. So I bought a house for £450, and it was an ordinary little house, six rooms, no bathroom, um, lavatory in the garden, when I started the house, I just had two, an old man and an old woman. An old man was going blind, was blind within months, and an old woman. Kept the front door open and said to the neighbours, um, this is the point of this house, it, it's for people who are lonely living on their own. A push on the door I wrote so that they knew it was open. There was no formal ringing of bells and knocking on doors. Today, as I can testify from my visits to Abbeyfield houses over the years, there are thousands of Abbeyfield volunteers and dedicated staff assisting older people across the United Kingdom and inspiring partner organisations in many countries around the world. I am very pleased to offer this acknowledgement of Richard Cargom's life and to celebrate his achievements as patron of Abbeyfield, I, I very much hope to ensure that his real memorial, the work that he began, uh, carries on into the future.